What's up YouTube? I got a few minutes of a break in my day, so I decided to show y'all some of these watch faces. Man, there's so many that actually come with the watch, and then there's a ton of them that you can download. And uh, I've actually gone through and picked out all the ones that I like. I try to keep this watch from, uh, from turning off on me. But I've gone through and picked out all the ones that I like, so I figured I'd go ahead and share them with y'all. So I'm just gonna go through them one by one. Uh, we will cover, hell, why not? Why don't we just go through all of them? So, I'll go ahead and start with what I got on here now. Actually, uh, I'll go ahead and start off with this Urban Classic right here. Um, these are actually pre-installed watch faces that you can put on. And this is really cool because some of these you can actually interact with. This is not one of them. Uh, the ones that you can actually interact with, I'll go ahead and let you know. But most of the ones that, um, that are default on the phone or on, in the app or in the watch itself, you can actually stylize them. And I'm not gonna do all the stylizing, but I'll just kind of demonstrate that one right there where you can actually just change, you know, certain features, maybe as the watch face or not the watch face, but the color or maybe the hands or something like that. So, and that's, it just takes place just like that. So you can actually do it from your phone. It makes it a little bit easier. All right, let's go on to the active, uh, the active watch face. Let's go ahead and stylize that one real quick. I actually like that one. And we can make it with a silver background. Oh man, that is clean. All right, I'm digging that right there. Leave that like that. And this one is super minimal. Uh, there, there actually is an interaction with this. There's a battery meter right there. You click on it and bam, you got battery life. Ooh. So you know what? What time is it actually? Uh, I'm at 39% and it is 318. So um, I'm actually what you would consider a power user. I'll talk about battery life in another video. Um, I know Samsung boasts three to four days on this thing and that is not the truth for me. I've been getting relatively a day, day and a quarter, day and a half, because I've been using it like crazy. I've been really just testing out all the features, playing around with different faces like I'm doing right now. I'll just toggle through some of these. But yeah, as far as battery life, I'm good with a day, day and a half. I mean, I don't need to, you know, have forever. Uh oh, I don't need to have, um, this one will go into your step counter as an interaction. I don't actually need to have, uh, you know, three days worth of battery life on my, on my watch because I have a nightstand and I can charge it right there every night. All right, so here we go. This one actually has a step counter right there you can interact with. And this is, looks like weather. Yeah, that's the weather. It'll interact right to the weather app. And this one is the altimeter. And let you know how many floors you climb. Um, let me see here. That is the uh, Frontier face. This is the chronograph. I really like this chronograph. It actually looks very realistic. And that's one thing I have to say about these uh, typical watch style faces that are default on the watch. They actually look very realistic and high quality. Some of the ones you'll find in the store are not as good quality. This one only has um, a tachometer built into it and you can touch that top one right there and it's ticking. Can you hear that? Can you hear it? And then you can stop or you can pause, or I think that's lap. Yeah, and then you can get it going again. And then there's that, you can tap on that one as well and it'll get going again. And that is all the interaction. That button actually does not interact with anything. But this is actually one of my favorite ones right here. And let's move on to some of the more eclectic ones. Like, I think I might have showed y'all before. I'm not really a fan of this one. Um, let me see if let me see what the stylized does. Oh, you can put pictures in there. I don't want y'all up in my picture, all up in my gallery. So you know what? Let's why not? Let's go up in my gallery. Let's see. So I, I went and had lunch with my father-in-law today. Actually, you know, let's look at some friends. We went to dinner with some friends the other night. So I put their faces on there. Let's just put me in the wife. There we go. Let's save that. See how that works for stylization. And we'll save it. Oh man, that's just adorable. Look at us. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, this is uh, this is what they call Steps Challenge or Steps Challenger. And you can stylize this one by putting the different colors. Let's just go with white, because I'm a simple guy. I like red as far as accent colors, but we'll go with this white for now. And then we'll move on to the gear dashboard. I actually, this is one of my, when I'm in like sport watch mode, like if I'm training someone or, you know, pretty much at work, I like to put it in this one and I'll just change the color of it. If I had on the watch, if I had on the black band, I'd probably move it to red or even white, uh, this color right here. And today I'm rocking this white band. So that's why you see the blue there. Cause I got on white and blue pretty much today um, for anybody. Let's see, let me save that, get a stylized going. 
and now it's red. So you can just pretty much rock that any way you want to. Um, let's go with this one. This is the four and one. So now we have calories here. We'll go in there and it moves right into S Health into the app, right? And then we can go back, check out the floors. We're still in S Health. Okay, so it, it just takes you right to the part of S Health you would want to go into. Let's see what that last one is. That's the workout minutes. I haven't gone walking today. All right, so let's move into the um, the step challenge. Now, I've been challenging my wife to a 100 a 100,000 step challenge. And as you can see, I am dusting the pants off of that lady. Poor thing, she's stuck in an office all day. Well, I get to just roam free like cattle. Um, but hey, that's my life. So let me see if I can click on anything here. Nope, can't click on nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, all right, and let's go to the trek meet. Nothing here, I don't believe. You'd think there would be an altimeter or something in there built in. And we got the, oh wait a minute, what was that? Let's go back to the trek mate. And what did I touch? Did anybody see it? Okay, maybe it wasn't. All right, let's go back to the heartbeat. And let's see here, if you tap the, if you tap the middle of the hands, it actually starts reading your, your uh, heart rate. So that's really cool. Let me stop that, get out of there. And if you tap on the heart, yeah, same thing. So if you tap on the hands, it'll start reading. If you tap on the heart, it'll start reading. For those of you that need to keep track of your heart rate throughout the day, uh, that's a pretty good watch face for you. And we'll go to the step circles next. And this basically is what interaction. And you're gonna tap that blue circle. Oh, my bad. You will tap where it says steps and it'll take you right in S Health where your steps are. I like this one too at night when I don't want a bunch of, I know the, the always on display, you know, it's pretty minute. It, I know the, I know the always on display pretty much minimizes, you know, the amount of light showing from the watch. But I like to put this one on at night when I wear it because it's minimal. That's what it's, I mean, it's a, just a minimal large display. And that's why I really like this one. You can stylize this one as well with the different colors there, as you can see. I won't go through all of them, but you get the gist of it. So let's cancel that out. And we'll move on to some ones that I've actually downloaded. Now I've been having a struggle on which gold face I like more, whether it be this one, which is called Lux Gold. Okay, you can't stylize this. I don't believe anyways. So with the ones, these are actually ones I've downloaded from the store. So with these, right, you can imagine, you know, maybe a brown, nice brown band with, to go with this, that'd be nice and clean, or maybe even a black band, who knows? But um, a lot of these ones you down, download from the store, they don't have obvious interactions or they don't have a stylized right here. Uh, you actually have to double tap in secret places. And a lot of times they have description on the app itself, but you kind of have to figure that out. Like here, I see a little foot right there, a little shoe. So I'll just tap and I'm not getting anything in here as far as stylization or customizations or even interactions. But I do like this watch face right here. And this is another one of my favorites right here. This one is called uh, CWF Aquarius Lunar. Um, I just like it. I mean, look at it. <laughs> I've worn it with my brown leather watch band and uh, I don't even think I've even tried any interactions. Not that I need it, but you got that. You got the analog and you got digital. I'm one of those guys that takes a little while to tell time on an analog watch. So I like having that double uh, that double uh, timekeeping right there with the digital and the analog. Then you got the Heritage right here. I like this one. It's, it's pretty simple. You know, you can rock a brown watch face or I'm sorry, brown wa watch band or even black leather or something like that. There's a, let me see if there's any interactions. Nope, nothing there. Not even a double tap. All right, and then we got the Special Edition. And this one, I do believe you can change the colors. If I'm not mis let me see. You double tap, nope, nothing. But look at it, why would you wanna change that? I mean, that's a really, and it even kind of shimmers a little bit. And let's go on to the, what is this called? Herebro, no, let me, let me pronounce this right. Herebrito, Herebrito one, okay? So this one, let's see if there's any interactions real quick. I saw this in the store and I liked the picture that they had, but I'll be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of it inside when it's actually on the watch. I mean, it probably looks good, you know, from your phone or your computer screen right now, but looking at it from the watch, I don't think it's as high of quality as I would want. It does have the, uh, it does have the dual display where you got the, uh, it's actually a 24 hour display uh, for digital and it's got the analog, but 
I mean, if you're gonna have something like that, I actually spent money on this, so I think it was like a dollar and some change. If you're gonna go that way, I mean, I do like that, uh, always on display it has there, but if you're gonna go this way, then my batteries are in low. Might as well just, you know, move on to the, to this classic one right here. And this is a high quality one. I don't know if you can see the difference there, but I don't know, it's just the quality in this, this hip burrito. It, it just didn't hit it for me. I mean, it looked great in the picture, but not so much on the watch. So this is called N2. Uh, by the way, some of these are free, some of these I paid for. You'll have to figure that out for yourself, but um, I think I only paid for like maybe four of them, but I'll let you know if I can remember. But I really like this one because it was white and you know, it just looks good. I mean, look at that. <laughs> you, can't, you can't deny that. Let's see if there's any interactions there. All right. All right, here we go. Let's go to the RFW IRK. I don't know what this one is. It says reference right there, reference one. Now this almost looks like a Breitling watch. That's actually a pretty cool watch face. Um, I'm not gonna say it looks realistic, but it does look really good. I will say it's high quality. Let's see if we can get into this step tracker right here. Yep, interactions, baby. Get it right into your steps. I don't think these do anything else. Uh, let's double tap, see what we get there. A lot of times if you double tap right on the center of the watch, you can change the colors of things. Uh, we'll be getting into one of those pretty here, here pretty soon. This is called Complex 12 Hour Mom Gear. That's who makes it, Mom Gear. This is another one that actually looked good in the store and on the pictures in the store, once I got it on the watch, wasn't a fan. Um, I liked it because it had the analog and the digital and it had different functions like there is the step counter right here. If you touch the very tip of it, you go into your step counter and then let's go back and then this is actually a speedometer. Then there's your heart rate. Go right into your heart rate right there. And then uh, I do believe we can go into a stopwatch. Yeah, it goes right into your stopwatch if you touch on the analog face, I'm sorry, on the digital face. Now that one's actually pretty cool, but like I said, as far as the way it looks, the quality, oh yeah, there's your battery meter. As far as the way it looks on the watch, I'm just, I'm not sold on it. I'm not gonna delete it just yet. I might play around with it a little bit later. Here's the one that um, it actually caught my eye in the store. This is actually one of the paid versions that I got. I just really like this one because of the design. It has a whole bunch of designs you can actually do. I liked it because of the, the simplistic design and um, as far as being digital anyways, and also the fact that you can customize the crap out of this one. So if you touch right here, it's like a little secret spot. You can change the face, right? Let's see if I can get that secret spot. Okay, so you can change the face there, but if you touch over here, you can go into the color display. And just change all those, you can change the color background. And that's the ring. So you can come up with any color combination you want, basically. So I can change the text color. Um, let me see here, let's save that and exit. So all different kinds of colors you got, color schemes you got there. So that's why I wanted to get that one. So I'll play with that one in a little bit. I'll play around with that one a little bit later. Then we have uh, this. Oh, there's a there's a there's a maker in the in the store called Jeweler, uh, and they make like I don't know a bunch of them, but they're all really crazy cool like this. They have a whole bunch of different features and stuff. So I decided to go ahead and purchase one of these. I think it was about maybe two dollars. And if you look here where it says STP, you get that's your steps. So it takes you right into your steps. Then this one says distance. Let me see if that takes you anywhere. Nope. There was something I touched on the side. If you touch that that digital right there. See how it's changing the uh, the background? You have all these different backgrounds if you just tap right there. So you can match this up with all kinds of different bands if you want to. All right, let's leave it on that one. That's actually a pretty cool color. Um, let's see if we can touch anywhere else. Oh, calories. Okay, that was, that's the top one. Okay, and then we have down here, what is that? That's the battery meter. And that's probably the calendar. Yeah, calendar. Okay, let's see what happens if we touch the center. Oh, Jarvis Badley. All right, so we get our uh, text messages if you touch in the very middle. That's actually a really cool feature. You can go right into that. What's up, Trevor? Uh, let's see here. Let's go into the to this one. This is actually going to be the last one I'm going to review today. It's called the A Desired Pack. And I guess they call it a pack because if you, I believe it's a double tap. Yeah, you get to change that watch face. And I think there's about six of them in there. There's a rose gold. That's a deeper rose gold. Uh, 
and then there we're back to gold. I actually got this one for the gold face because I couldn't decide between this one and this one. All right, so y'all help me. Which one do y'all like more? Okay, this is the Lux Gold, okay? And then this is the A Desired Pack. So y'all tell me in the comments which one y'all like more because I can't decide between the two. Other than that, I ain't got nothing else to show y'all. These are all the ones that I went to the store and downloaded myself. I really like the pre-installed ones. I mean, Samsung did it right with the ones they already had pre-installed. But other than that, I just found a couple that I wanted to play around with. You can do whatever you want to do with your watch. Check it out. I ain't never claimed to be an expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing reviews and I'll see y'all on the next one.